coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The community of Schwozel is set to benefit from the Soleil Couché restaurant project which is being undertaken in that community. Ground was broken for the restaurant on Friday, January 31st, 2020. The new restaurant will be located near the Tete Rouge Resort in Delce Chozelle, providing local cuisine with an Italian flair and will cater to locals and visitors alike. Paul Hugo, director of Tete Rouge and Soleil Couché, noted that the local produce and seafood will be sourced from the Chozelle fisheries. Hugo also praised the laborers who are residents of Chozelle for the level of work being produced. The Minister for Commerce, Industry, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs and Parliamentary Representative for Chozelle, Honorable Bradley Felix, commended the Director of Soleil Couché on the location chosen for the project. St. Lucia has imposed travel restrictions on travelers coming from China as the novel coronavirus has been deemed a public health emergency of international concern. On Thursday, January 30th, 2020, during the second meeting of the Emergency Committee convened by the World Health Organization, regulations regarding the novel coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, China, the committee agreed that the outbreak now meets the criteria. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma George says the Department of Health and Wellness has taken this approach so as to restrict the possible entry of the virus into St. Lucia. According to the CMO, as of February 4, 2020, the government of St. Lucia will not allow any non-national with a travel history within the last 14 days from mainland China, whether in transit or originating to enter any local port. Media practitioners in St. Lucia received training as part of a digital media series being conducted by the British High Commission. Participants benefited from hands-on mobile and digital solutions-based approaches to journalism over a two-day period. Resident British Commissioner Steve McCready says the training is important as new technologies are constantly being introduced to the field of journalism. The training allows participants to get a better understanding of mobile tools which can be used for multimedia content, storytelling, podcasting, photography, social media, investigative and entrepreneurial journalism. McCready says that having an effective media is important for democracy, not just in St. Lucia but across the globe. The multi-country training series was held in eight countries across the Eastern Caribbean and coincides with the opening of the new British High Commission offices in Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.